Furby and I work for HDT Global and my job title is Business Development for Marine Corps Programs. Some of the obstacles in the field are finding a turnkey solution that not only is expeditionary for the warfighter but also is easy to access from a procurement standpoint. The first item would be the HDT Radiant Liner for the Marine Corps COC program. It's approximately two times more efficient than the current SpaceX liner that's fielded through the ESS program for the Marine Corps. The HDT Radome Air Beam Shelter is designed for satellite communications equipment in austere environments. The problem some of the customers are facing in the field is they've procured these satellite antenna and communications equipment, but they have no way to cover and conceal them and protect them from the elements. So our solution, being expeditionary, uses Air Beam technology, allowing a setup for eight to ten minutes with approximately two people and an air compressor. What that allows you to do is set up quickly and get the, get the satellite communications equipment under canopy and begin your operations in austere environments without the enemy being able to understand and uncover what you're trying to do. Power distribution grid, what it does is it allows for you to tie in four 35K HDT digital generators and one 60K HDT digital generator onto one grid and be able to monitor those from a remote laptop location. What that allows the end user to do is cut down on fuel waste and manage the grid more smartly, making them more effective on the battlefield and wasting less energy and fuel. ADS brings rapid procurement to the fight. The TLS contracts that we utilize with ADS, it allows us a bigger outreach, be able to get to the customer faster and more efficiently. That way the warfighter can get what they need where they need it.